Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at and installing the Pace Edwards Jackrabbit full metal retractable tonneau cover available for the 1990-18 Silverado 1500. In the shop here today we have our 2013 extended cab with the 6.6 bed. This guy here is a complete cover of the factory bed and it's going to help to protect your cargo from weather elements, would-be thieves, and overall it is one of the more premium options in the category. Now if you're shopping for tonneau covers you probably have noticed that there are so many options. That market is completely saturated and there's a lot of different styles and designs for a tonneau cover. So you should be checking this one out if you're looking for something that is number one, a hard cover. So this is not fabric, you can't knife through it, it's super durable. And you should be checking this out if you're looking for one of the easier ones to use. Being a retractable, all you would have to do to operate this is turn the unlock lever on the passenger side by the tailgate and it retracts all the way back, rolling itself up as a garage style door into the canister by your bulkhead. Now the Jackrabbit here from Pace Edwards being a hard cover with hard aluminum slats on it and a very durable canister, this guy is gonna run a little bit higher of a price tag. Like I said, this is one of the more premium options. Retractables are typically a little bit more expensive and throw in the fact that it is a hard full metal retractable, you can expect a price tag of right around 1800 bucks. So it is pretty steep, but it's definitely for the guys who want every bell and whistle, who want everything to be completely perfect when it comes to fitment and durability. Now this guy also includes a full length pull strap. So that means when this is all the way rolled back, the pull strap goes out to your tailgate and makes it easier for you to stand at the back and pull this thing completely closed. This one is also unique in the fact that it has 12 intervals along the way at which it can lock and stop at for you to drive with it half open, quarter open, 12 different stops. So you'll have one about here, three quarters, a third, half, and so on and so forth. That way, if you're hauling cargo of different sizes, you can protect some of your bed completely closed but have some of it open for the taller cargo. So if you're hauling a dirt bike, a small dresser, a couch, everything's a different size, you can open and close it as you need. When it's also completely closed, like you see here, you can lock it. There are two keys included in the kit, so you get a spare. You can lock this guy to make sure that nobody can open and close it when you don't want them to. So if you wanna store any precious cargo underneath of it, so you have some really expensive carpentry tools, you can have that in the bed without worrying about someone getting into it. With its hard cover and with the lock, it's fully secure. Now another thing worth noting here, and it's really my only gripe and only downside to a retractable style tonneau cover, is that the canister itself is pretty deep and it takes up about a foot of your bed. Now, it's not the end of the world. There's still a gap underneath of it. So if you wanna put long two by fours underneath of it, they'll fit all the way back to the bulkhead, but you are losing about this much space. So some guys, that's not the biggest deal with the fact that it's so easy to use that kind of makes up for it, but definitely something worth noting. One thing worth noting here is that depending on whether or not you have a bed cover will change how easy the installation is gonna be. This tonneau cover does work with bed covers, but if your Silverado has one that's a little bit bulkier at the bulkhead or under the windshield, it can make the installation more difficult. You may need to make modifications to your bed cover if that's the case or completely remove it altogether. That's depending on your situation. Now this cover is going to be a one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter install simply because with the right bed cover or no bed cover at all, the installation has no modifications. It bolts right up to the bed. I definitely recommend having a helping hand on deck because the canister itself is pretty heavy. The install will take you about two hours from start to finish. If you have a helping hand, you can definitely get it done quicker. I'll show you the entire process start to finish. Let's get started. All right, tools used in this video include an impact gun and a 10 millimeter socket to help unpackage the tonneau cover, Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of wire cutters or something similar just to cut your weather stripping. All right, guys, the first step of the install here is, of course, we're going to take our canister, which is the entire tonneau cover assembly in that box, and prop it up in our bed. We're using a couple of different crates here to prop it up. You just want to give it a couple of inches above the side bed rails to make it easier on the installation process, at least at first. So once you have that taken care of, I want to show you guys the installation of the bed rails. And we've got our driver's side bed rail already installed, and it's just one single slot. We wanted to do this on this side just to make sure it's slotted in correctly before showing you guys what it looks like on the other side, and that's what we're going to do now. Now we're going to take our passenger side bed rail and we're basically going to slot it into the aluminum slats on our passenger side. All right, so now what we're paying attention to here is the little slots on this aluminum rail along with the inner one. And this plastic piece here is your blanket guide. That's going to help guide the tonneau cover forward. Now what we're going to do is take our passenger side rail and you can see this guy has a cutout here big rectangular cutout. That's there to clear this blanket guide. So we're gonna start by putting the blanket guide right in the middle of that and then bringing this down. 
Now you want to make sure you're pulling this back enough that you can guide your tonneau cover into this open slot. You're doing a couple of different things simultaneously. So we're going to guide that through. And once you have that in place, it kind of sits a little bit more flush. From there, you're going to slide the two slots inside of those aluminum slats on the canister. All right, it'll click all the way back and then you can prop it up just like that. Now from here, we have both sides installed. So you wanna make sure that you install this on the opposite side, of course. And from here, you can use a helping hand or if you think you got it yourself, take away the crates that you're propping this up with and rest it on the side of your bin. Now at this point, we're taking our Phillips head screw along with a flat and lock washer and we're gonna bolt the rail to the actual canister itself. Now right at the end, where the end of your tonneau cover is, there's a little metal opening. There's a little pre-drilled hole that matches up with a threaded hole in the rail. So we're gonna take our Phillips head screw and put it through. Perfect, now you wanna repeat that on the other side. All right, next up, we're outside of the bed and we're installing our clamps. Now the clamps are a little more unique than some of the other ones in the category when it comes to a tonneau cover, so you wanna make sure you're getting this correct. Now there are two different sized clamp arms. This is your clamp arm here. Some of them are a little bit longer, and I'll say they are pretty hard to tell the difference, so you might wanna break out your tape measure just to make sure you got the correct ones. The short arms are gonna go on the tailgate side, and the long arms are gonna go up by your canister. Now you're gonna take your short arm here, and you're gonna slot this in just like that. These slotted grips are gonna hook on to the bed rail, and this little block here is gonna put pressure on the inside of your factory bed rail. So what we're gonna do now is head over to this bed rail, and you're gonna look for the open slot right here toward the inside of your bed rail. You're basically gonna hook the block from the backside, just like that, slot this into that opening, and pull it towards you so it locks in. So now we're locked in, and once we have all of them installed, we'll come back with our uh, twist knob and tighten it down. So now I've got my long arm and I'm up by the canister on the same side, our driver's side. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Now to tighten these guys down, you're gonna take your twisting knob along with a split washer and a flat washer and you're gonna take this little uh, cylinder nut. Now this guy is gonna go on the back there and sit in that little indent, and the knob is gonna go on from the front. So you're gonna put that through, put the knob on the back, and thread them through each other. All right, so once that grips, you can start tightening this guy down. All right, so now you can do the same thing for the back of the bed. All right, repeat on the other side. All right, so at this point, we're gonna install the attachment for the clamps. Now you can see this hole through the middle there. We're gonna install this stopper. What this is gonna do is it's gonna push on the inside of the bed to prop the bed rail up to make sure it's not slipping down. Now in order to do that, you're gonna take your wing nut off and you're gonna slide this through. Now when you put your stopper up against the bed, you don't want it to be at an angle. You might feel like you wanna put it down this way. You wanna make sure it's completely straight with the bed. From there, you're gonna take your flat washer, put it on the end here, your split washer, and then the wing nut. Tighten the wing nut down. You can twist this knob here and the knob underneath of it to push on the inside of the bed and that way this can never slouch. Repeat that for the other clamp at the tailgate end.
All right, so next up, I have our pull strap in my hand. Now this guy is about the length of your bed so that no matter where you are in the bed, you can pull this guy open. Now this is a retainer Velcro strip. Now what this is gonna help you do is it's gonna help you stick this guy into position. That way when your tonneau cover is closed or if it's completely open, you know exactly where the strap's gonna be when you're not using it. That way it doesn't get buried under cargo, whatever the case may be. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this strip and stick it onto the little Velcro portion of our strap. Now the entire thing isn't Velcro. It's got a little strip here, a little strip at the end, and then there's one in the middle. So this guy, I'm gonna peel off the 3M backing so it sticks, and then we're gonna stick it on our driver's side. Now, I like to put it on the driver's side because I'm sure the driver is gonna be using it the most, but you can put it wherever you see fit. I'm gonna stick it right underneath of this bed rail at the end. Anytime we need to open or close our tonneau cover, we can come here, pull this guy, and we can pull it. That way, whenever you're done with the strap, you can put it right back here, and it's not gonna be in the way of the tailgate. All right, so at this point, we're gonna take our lubricant pad. It's this little cloth that's been lubricated up. What we're gonna do is lubricate the inside of the bed rail along where this weather stripping is, where the tonneau cover actually slots into that track. As it sits right now without this lubricant, it's pretty stiff. You can close it and open it by yourself, but it doesn't retract back as smoothly as you'd want it to. So using the lubricator pad included in the kit makes that a lot easier. So I'm just gonna take this guy and I'm gonna run it on the inside of this track, top and bottom, on both sides. All right, and then I'm also gonna do the same thing right above it where the tonneau cover is already sitting in. All right, same thing on the other side. All right, next up is gonna be our weather strip foam sealant on the bulkhead. So that's gonna be right behind the canister, closest to the windshield. Peel off that 3M backing. You're gonna stick that guy on and run it across the entire bulkhead. All right, now the foam is gonna be longer than you need it to be. So once you get it all the way across, cut the excess. Once you have it on, put firm pressure all around and we're gonna move on. All right, so now we can put our lid in place on top of our canister. Now the lid is gonna line up the pre-drilled hole on the lid to this threaded hole that slots back and forth, and then we'll use Phillips heads to bolt them down. You're also gonna put the foam padding underneath this against the foam padding on the bulkhead. So just line all this stuff up. All right, once you have that lined up, grab the Phillips head screw and your Phillips head screwdriver, and you're gonna set it in the place. Last step of the process here are your drain tubes. Now the drain tubes install on both sides underneath of your canister to allow any moisture that builds up inside the canister to drain out of the bed instead of wetting any of your cargo in the bed. Now, if you have a bed cover like we do, that can get a little difficult. Some bed covers will have cutouts that allow you to have access to the factory grommets or the factory drain holes in your bed. Ours, unfortunately, does not, so we're not gonna be installing these today. If your bed cover does not, if you have a bed cover that does not, you may have to get creative in how you use these. That might involve you cutting a hole in your bed cover to access the drain plugs. It might involve you using some other creative method to drain them, or you might not use these at all. It's up to you, but if you can, it is definitely recommended to, to make sure all the moisture does not get into your bed. So, with that said, we're gonna toss these aside. All you have to do now is close your tonneau cover, and you'll be good to go. At this point, guys, I just want to show you guys quickly how this actually works. So you want to grab your rope, you're going to pull this guy straight out. And you can hear as it clicks, those are locking points. So like you can let it go and it will stay locked at that position. There's multiple positions throughout this entire length that you can stop at. Go all the way to the end and it locks shut. Now, at this point, you can shut your tailgate and you can get moving, but anytime you want to open it, that's this little mechanism here. You just twist it all the way toward the passenger side and you can let it roll and it'll roll all the way back. Now when you do that, what I like to do is just hold onto the rope because you don't want it to go back too violently, just guide it back as you unlock it. Now say you want it to haul cargo here that are a little bit too tall for having the shut, but you don't want to have it too open. So you can bring it down, you can stop it right in the middle and you can drive with it open just like this. And anytime you want to unlock it, hit that again and it goes all the way back. You can pick your Pace Edwards Jackrabbit full metal retractable tonneau cover up for your 99 to 18 Silverado right here at americantrucks.com.